Hello artists, welcome to Art with Miss Dash. Today we are going to be creating our very own sculptures. Now I'm sure you must be wondering, Miss Dash, what is a sculpture? A sculpture is something that is three-dimensional, 3D. Or in other words, something that you can see from all around, from all different sides. Some sculptures can be interactive, like this one by Huame Plenza. It's called the Crown Fountain. It is based in Chicago, Illinois in the United States of America. And as you can see, there are people interacting with the sculpture. As you can imagine, this looks like a very hot day and so many kids are enjoying the very nice and cool water coming out of the fountain. This is a very whimsical piece of sculpture. Now you must be thinking, Miss Dash, I have seen this sculpture. That is absolutely correct. It is by our artist, Yayoi Kusama. We have created art pieces inspired by her in our very own art classroom. How exciting. So she creates sculptures indoors and outdoors. This one is indoors. As you can see, it is inside a museum. On that note, I present to you what we are going to be creating today. You will be making your very own sculptures that you can see from all the way around. I am so excited to show you the different steps to create your very beautiful sculpture. First things first, you're going to need to collect your supplies. What you need today is a paintbrush, scissors, glue, some old bubble wrap, that's optional, uh, and a lot of toilet rolls, empty toilet rolls. A piece of cardboard, and last but not the least, paint. Now that you have cleared your art supplies, you are left with your cardboard. You're gonna need that, and a paintbrush, and some paint. Oh, and of course we also need some bubble wrap. Must not forget the bubble wrap. And our paintbrush, and of course paint. Now you're gonna see me dip in some yellow. You may choose any color you want. I was just picking yellow because it reminds me of the sun. You can pick a blue, pink, red, green, orange, whatever color your heart desires. You can watch me paint, paint, paint on the bubble wrap. Once you're happy with the amount of paint, you flip it around and then you press, press, press on your piece of cardboard, just like that. And once you're done, you gently peel it off to reveal a beautiful print. You can do this over and over again until you are happy with your background. Now you can see Miss Dash going at lightning fast speed and do your artwork with me. Now you notice I'm pointing because there isn't enough paint. So I'm gonna apply it more paint. I can also tell you that it doesn't have to be the same color. If you want to change color midway, absolutely go for it. Now I'm gonna turn it over and press, press, press again. All right, now I'm going to gently press, oh, oh, what is, oh, how did I get that green paint on my head? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, one must move on. And here I go gently pressing and pressing. Oh, voila, that is much better. And now I begin to change the color to orange. I am going to do the same steps again and going to stamp on my cardboard. Oh my goodness, Miss Dash, you are going at lightning fast speed again. Your second step is to make sure you safely put away that cardboard that you just painted and collect your empty toilet rolls and paint. We're about to get painting, friends. Notice how I have my paint palette and my water container to change colors. And we have been waiting for this moment. You are about to begin painting your empty toilet rolls. Enjoy painting them in different colors. Some of them can be green, some of them can be blue, some of them can be all rainbow colors if you like. Um, I am going to paint mine a one color each. You may do so if you would like to as well. We have a green, purple, blue, orange and a yellow toilet roll friends voila there we are you may choose to do different colors with yours as long as you're happy 
Artists, you're going to need scissors for the next step. Now you see me folding or pressing our toilet roll in half so it looks, rather than a circle, it looks like an oval. And that's so that we can cut it very, very easily. So here I go cutting my toilet roll. I can cut them in three different sizes or two different sizes. Once I'm done cutting, look, I try to make it into a circle again. Here I go cutting, cutting, cutting. I'm trying to be very careful with my fingers so that I don't hurt myself. And I hope you will do the same. And look at that. Now we have three pieces from one toilet roll. Now for the blue one, you will notice that I cut a small one first. Look at me cut away. And I'm trying to do it very carefully again. And oh, there, it's done. Now I'm going to leave it as these two pieces, one tall one and one short one. I'm not going to cut it another time so that it creates interest and has different sizes. Our next step is to bring back our cardboards that we just stamped. Artists, the time has come where you combine and create your beautiful sculpture. And now you're going to see how you want to place your different pieces on your piece of cardboard you can move it around you can see how it looks until you are satisfied once you're happy you're going to start gluing everything down with a glue whatever glue you have at home you can use a paintbrush to apply the glue or you can apply the glue straight from the bottle Oh my goodness, once I was done gluing, I also painted on my sculpture because I wanted to make it look even more beautiful. Now there you have it friends, your beautiful sculpture come to life. And there you have it artists, you have created your very first sculpture. I cannot wait to see your beautiful creations tagged to me on Instagram and Facebook.